good morning students welcome to class 9 chemistry class our first chapter is matter in our surroundings matter what is matter as all of you know anything which has mass and occupies space is matter every matter is made up of particles and these particles are very small in size there are certain characteristics of the particles of matter these are these particles have some empty space between them known as interparticle space particles of matter attract each other by some force of attraction known as interparticle force of attraction third one particles are always moving continuously in all possible directions it means that they have kinetic energy on increasing temperature kinetic energy of the particles increases now we will study about the classification of matter matter can be classified on the basis of physical state and also on the basis of chemical composition in this chapter we will discuss about physical classification of matter on this matter basis matter is classified into five types solid state liquid state gaseous state plasma state and bose einstein condensate state first three state solid state liquid state and gaseous state can exist at room temperature plasma state is very high energy state bose einstein condensate state is very low energy state in this chapter we will study about the properties of only first three states of matter solid state liquid state and gaseous state now we will study the, the comparative properties of three states of matter first property is interparticle space in solid state particles are closely packed it means that interparticle space is the least among these three states in liquid state interparticle space is larger than in solids in gaseous state particles are far away from each other and therefore interparticle space is the largest we can understand this with in example we can move our hand easily through air but to do the same thing where in a wooden block we need a kinetic spot second property is interparticle force of attraction it is the strongest in solid state in liquid state it is less stronger than in solids and gas state interparticle force of attraction is the negligible next third property is rigidity solids are generally rigid they have fixed shape and fixed volume some solids can change their shape on applying force but on removing force they can regain the original shape for example rubber band liquid state matter in liquid state are generally not rigid they have fixed volume but no fixed shape they can occupy the shape of the container in which they are kept in gaseous state matter no fixed shape no fixed volume next fourth property is compressibility compressibility it is the property of matter by which particles of matter can come close together by applying pressure in solid solid state particles are incompressible 
In liquid state, they are almost incompressible and in gaseous state, particles are compressible. Some solids are compressible. For example, sponge. In a sponge, there are many minute pores in which air particles remain captured. On applying pressure, air escapes and therefore it is possible to compress the sponge. Next is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is associated with the movement of the particles. In solid state, movement of particles is very less particle and therefore they have negligible kinetic energy. In a liquid state, kinetic energy is more than in solid state and in gas state, particles have very high kinetic energy because part particles are free to move in all possible directions. And uh, in next lecture, I will discuss other properties. Thank you students.